What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny, and yeah, we've all seen it. Fashion rules every guy should follow. I get it, most of these videos are meant for guys just getting into fashion or don't know how to dress. Like me. However, the unfortunate thing about these rules is that they can stay ingrained in your brain for years or forever. And that's not really what fashion should be. Fashion should be about expressing yourself, expressing who you are, making your own rules. Not following what society tells you or browsing what the internet tells you. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about five style rules that are irrelevant and that you can ignore. So let's start off with rule number one and that is no whites after Labor Day. Okay, so first off, that's rude to the color white, and I am offended. <laughs> and second, this rule was solely implemented in America. There's a lot of countries with Labor Days at all different times of the year, and some countries don't even have it. So, yeah, no. Besides, most of the United States in September is still pretty hot, and white's still gonna keep you cool, so... Plus, if you think about it, fashion isn't only an American thing, it's a worldwide interest. So yeah, I see you guys commenting in other people's videos about white in the winter. Yeah, calm down, man. White can and should be worn year-round. I mean, it's a really nice way to complement your outfit, to add some contrast to it. Personally, I will always stick to white shoes. Not a big white pants guy. I've tried, it's just not for me. Come on, man, a white tee, that's an essential piece that you just can't throw in the back of your closet just because it's September 7th. So yeah, that is rule number one, no white after Labor Day. Yeah, you can ignore that. Rule number two is that less is more when it comes to accessories. Don't over-accessorize, they say, well, hey, shut up! Where are all the accessories that you want? Now granted, I do think it can be a bit tacky if you're over accessorized like your bracelets. But wear multiple rings, wear your belt chains, wear your bracelets, wear multiple necklaces. I like to wear at least two bracelets on my wrist and multiple rings as well. And a ton of other accessories like my necklaces, sling bags, belt chains, tactical belts. I've seen many people pull off multiple necklaces just fine. The only reason why I think people follow these rules is because someone on the internet probably said that the ladies don't like it when you over accessorize. Hey man, if you're gonna follow that rule just because of that reason, it's pretty stupid. Rule number three is a rule that has been ingrained into me since the very beginning of me getting into fashion and that is, if it doesn't fit you, you look ridiculous. Fitted clothes was love, fitted clothes was life. Any item I was looking at copying, I'll take the size small please because it's gonna show off my two inch biceps. Look man, I get it. Fitted clothes actually looks really great and amazing, especially if you lift some weights, but do not stick to one fitment for the rest of your life. Especially if you get into streetwear after men's wear, you'll learn pretty fast that fitted clothes don't really look the best. Fit is king, they say, and a lot of people online use this to push their agenda on how everything that goes on your body should be tapered and slim fitting, but nah. Fit is king really means how it fits on your body is what matters. But me personally, I wear all types of sizing because I've experienced all types of fitment. Boxy tees, oversized tees, baggy cargos, skinny denim. I can wear the whole spectrum. So now let me tell you why this rule is ridiculous. Take the Air Force One, for example. If I wear that with fitted skinny jeans, I look like Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Instead, opt for a pair of pants that complements the chunkiness of that Air Force One. So straight cut pants work really well, and personally, I like baggier cargos that taper down at the ankle area. And so if you guys are looking for a pair of baggier cargo pants that tapers down for that sleek modern look, well, I'm gonna recommend you guys the sponsor of today's video, Black Taylor. Now, I've purchased from this brand many times before they even sponsored my channel, and I'm just a huge fan of their cargos. If you guys didn't know, Black Taylor is a cargo streetwear-based company, and they have a huge assortment of tasteful cargos with all types of different design and materials. If you're still a fan of skinnier pants, well, they got you. Baggy cargos, they got you. So go ahead, visit the link in the description, use my discount code if you wanna save some money. It also helps me out in the long run, even though I don't make any commission. And I promise you, man, you're gonna look fly, you're gonna love these cargos. Besides, if you have no idea on where to get started, their customer service is awesome and they got you, man. But yeah, like I said before, fitted clothes ain't the way to go sometimes. Instead, try all types of fitment and focus on complementing all aspects of your outfit like complimenting the Air Force Ones, instead of following just a generic rule. Now this next rule is one of those rules that I just cringe whenever I hear it. And that is, you need to dress your age. I see it like this, after you turn 35, you should have, you should have an epiphany to just drop all your clothes in your closet and go cop some uh, dapper stuff. I don't know, I think this rule is absolutely ridiculous. However, I do understand where the people preaching this are coming from. Yeah, you should probably have a suit. You should have some more dapper-esque clothes. You're gonna be in some business meetings. Your friends are gonna get married. All that good stuff that comes when you age. But to only be wearing these items, yeah, that's going a bit too far. I've come across some people that say that backpacks look absolutely ridiculous on you. It makes you look like a little boy and immature. <sighs> All right, first off, Walk around New York City, you're gonna see all types of New Yorkers wearing backpacks, okay? And second, 
Stop that. Look, as you age, sure, your style evolves, you're gonna grow a distaste towards certain items, but that is just a personal thing. Refining your style, fine tuning it, and making it your own is what you call dressing for your age. No longer dressing a certain way because it's going to impress the ladies or your friends. Personalizing it to your own and expressing yourself is dressing your age. So if you guys come across this rule, take it with a grain of salt as a guideline to adulting and maturity. But following this rule to the T, nah, I'm not about that. Last but not least, I touched on it a bit earlier, but there's a rule out there that says you should dress for your body type. I get this rule too, and like with all rules, they're mostly meant as a guideline. But what really matters at the end of the day is that you feel 100% confident wearing it. Sure, you're gonna have to go through the initial process of getting used to, let's say, oversized clothes or fitted clothes, but who cares what people say about you if you look immature or if you get made fun of for wearing fitted clothes. I know that wearing baggier pants and oversized shirts is going to make me look even more short because I'm 5'7". I'm pretty short dude, but I don't care. Hell, even taking this picture with Jose didn't help my case either. But man, on that day, I walked out the door having an awesome day, smiling, having a blast. And honestly, what matters more than that? Just wear what you want, man. If it's going to express who you are, that's what matters. Because fashion is subjective, not one way is right or wrong. It's an art. All art is subjective. And let's just say if a painter paints a piece that he loves and he really likes and he feels very confident in his work, just like you're composing a clean outfit in your eyes, then I think you won. And that's what you call dressing for your age and maturing your style. All right, fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am by no means dissing anyone. All the style gurus, all the fashion YouTubers out there putting out great advice. Rules are just a good guideline to start and follow. And you should just take it or leave it if you guys like the rule. Also, if you made it this far, comments. Comments, I don't like sand because I watched Star Wars episode two recently. Not the best episode. Just so I can see who the real MVPs are if you guys made it this far. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at Fly with Johnny Ty. Give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, and I'm out, bro. Peace.